Hi guys, welcome to another video. I have just started hosting a brand new Draw This In Your Style challenge over on Instagram, and it's a very glowy kind of challenge. Because of this, I've gotten a few questions on how I add glow to my pictures. So I'm just gonna hurry and show you. I'll show you how I do it in Procreate on my iPad mini, and I'm gonna show you how I do it in Clip Studio Paint on my desktop computer. So let's just jump right in. By the way, you can catch me live over on Twitch every Friday and sometimes on Wednesdays. I draw, paint, chat with viewers, answer questions, and it would be lovely to see you there sometime. Okay, so starting on the iPad in Procreate, um, I'm gonna show you how I create the glow in this, in this piece. So there's no glow right now, it's just the flat yellow color, and I'm gonna start with her clothes slash tattoos slash light. I don't exactly know, but basically the yellow that's on her body. And then we're also going to add glow to the fire at the bottom and the sparkles at the top. So the first step is to go to the layer that you wanna add the glow and you're gonna duplicate that layer. For this, I actually already have it duplicated out because uh, it's part of the flattened image and so this this layer I have on top it's already the duplicate but if you don't have the duplicate already you're gonna need to duplicate it before moving on to the next step so I've duplicated it out um, the next step is going to be a Gaussian blur so you go to the adjustments panel scroll down until you get to Gaussian blur click layer and then you're going to and then you're going to drag your pen to the right to find the right amount of blur for your piece. It's going to be different depending on how large your canvas is, how much you need to blur the glow, and also your own preferences. So once you find a, a blur amount that you are pretty happy with, go to adjustments, uh, hue, brightness, saturation, layer, and then you're going to crank the saturation up, lower the brightness, and then you also might want to adjust the hue. The reason we lower the brightness is so that the color can actually come through because if it stays really bright, it will be all blown out and it will just look white or at best really, really bright yellow. And we actually want it to be a little bit more tinted red or pink. Um, or if you're doing some sort of blue or green glow, you can also go that direction. But for this one, um, the actual flat color is going to be this kind of dark red and then when we switch to a different layer mode it's going to look like a nice glow coming off of the yellow so now we go into layer modes by clicking the little letter next to your layer and you're going to switch it to an add layer um, for a while I was thinking color dodge but in procreate I think add works the best for this unless you want a more subdued glow so once you're in the add Oh, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do now is just erase some of this extra glow that's sort of outside of the lines that I don't really need using a soft eraser. And so I'm just going to use an airbrush tool to erase away the parts that I don't need. I do still want to keep a little bit um, coming off of the edges since the glow is kind of leaking out, but we don't need all of those like scribbles out there. So that's the basic steps is you're going to duplicate the layer you want to glow, Gaussian blur it, adjust the colors, and then switch it to an add mode. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the fire at the bottom. I duplicated the layer. Now we're Gaussian blurring it, cranking up the Gaussian blur, and that actually already looks pretty good down there, but I, I want it to look even better. So I'm going to adjust the color now. Hue, saturation, brightness, crank up the saturation, lower the brightness, and. Oh, oops, I just realized you couldn't see. <laughs> now you can see the color that's changing down at the bottom in like the fiery glow. So now it looks a little bit more like there's an orangey red glow coming off of it versus a blown out white. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of glow behind the sparkles. And actually I wanted a little bit of a, a very soft arcing glow behind them first. So I'm creating a new layer, switching it to color dodge because I want it to be a little more subtle. Going to a dark red, using the airbrush to just gently 
paint in this um, kind of arcing magic or galaxy glow or I'm not exactly sure magic we'll call it magic okay <laughs> uh, it's magic okay so just gently painting this in before I move on to a more intense glow for the actual sparkles so duplicating the sparkles switching them to an add layer mode Going to Gaussian Blur, cranking up the Gaussian Blur. Again, this already looks pretty good, but I want, I want that color variation. So again, hue, saturation, brightness, crank up the saturation, lower the brightness, but maybe not as much for this one, and then adjust the color to be a little bit more red. If you ever feel like it's not enough, it's super easy to make it more intense, just duplicate that layer. And suddenly, bam! It's uh, suddenly very, very glowy in the sparkles, and it, I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I love glowy art. I love glowy art. So that's pretty much it. Let's move into Clip Studio Paint, where the, uh, the steps are basically the same. The main difference in Clip Studio is the layer mode, at least the name of the layer mode, is different. And also, don't get scared by all my layers in Clip Studio Paint. It's just that when I recorded this, I did not merge all my layers and clean them up like I did for Procreate, but it's the very, very same idea. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to choose the layer that is her clothes and tattoos. I'm going to duplicate it. And now I'm going to untransparency lock it because I had it locked to her. So untransparency lock, if yours happens to be locked, I'm going to erase these scribbles beforehand this time rather than uh, afterwards. Now I'm switching the layer mode to glow dodge. You could go with add glow. It would be even more intense. I think glow dodge is super nice though because it lets there still be some nice saturated colors. But right now, obviously it's super blown out. First, I'm gonna Gaussian blur. Same as before, but Clip Studio does tend to take a little bit longer with its preview. But again, it totally depends on how large your canvas is, how much you're going to need to Gaussian blur. This is something you're gonna to need to experiment with yourself. I can't give you an exact number. Just play with it, have fun, play with that blur. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the glow layer, which I already had the color picked out, which is this kind of dark orangey color. And I locked the transparency and I'm painting over it. So all of the glow layer that's all blurred is now that orangey color. And, uh, but if you didn't already have a color like this picked out, you would just go to the uh, hue saturation color adjustment to, to find the color that you want. So now we're gonna move on to the fire at the bottom to make it look more, uh, fiery, <laughs> more glowy. So duplicate that layer. Have you, are you guys starting to see a pattern? Duplicate, blur, Gaussian blur. Increase the blur. Switch the layer mode to glow dodge. Adjust the color, tonal correction, hue saturation lumosity. They crank up the saturation, lower the lumosity, and now we're getting that nice like orangey glow coming off of the fire at the bottom. Also, you can adjust the hue. Again, I pushed it more towards the red. That's why we're getting the orange. Next step is the sparkles. The sparkles at the top. And again, I want to paint that, that very soft uh, arcing magic, the rainbow of magic above her. So I'm going to create a new layer make it a add glow or glow dodge play with it see which one you like and then with a very soft airbrush just painting that big soft glow in behind the sparkles cool now it's sparkle time so duplicate your sparkle layer switch it to an add glow blur gaussian blur crank it up crank up that blur Okay, it already is looking pretty good, but I'm going to adjust the colors as I have been doing. Hue, saturation, lumosity. Crank up the saturation. 
lower the lumosity, but I'm not lowering the lumosity and the sparkles for this one quite as much as the others because I still, I want them to be a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. And that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this little glow tutorial. I hope it was helpful. One of my 2021 goals is to really put more focus on making more videos and growing this channel, and that would not be possible without you wonderful people. So thank you all for being there, and I hope to see you in the future. Bye!